people come here too, I remember, because uh, they feel like they're close to celebrities, even though maybe these guys are maybe me celebrities. So, so that's why that's why the foreigners come and that's why the locals come too, because they feel like they're closer to someone who's famous. And if, so if I can just move around here. We're still very close to the Olympic Stadium, which is, you can't really see it, but it's right there. The street is just lined with these guys. There's another one there. Anyways, time to head off to the other side of Harajuku. Hey, hey guys, a uh, little thing. These look like 1950s Japanese greasers. If you want to take a look, there's a girl in a poodle skirt over there. Yeah. Anyways, we'll come back later. That's cuter there. Yeah. Okay, hi everybody. We're at Takashita or Takashita Dark, and this is where you get all your Lolita fashions. And as you can see, it is swamped. Absolutely swamped crazy because apparently there's Lolita fetish, as Kim was saying in Japan. So this is where everybody goes to get their stuff. Let's go. That's absolutely swamped. Holy crap. All right, let's do this. We're in Harajuku, and we're looking at crepes, because they're famous for their crepes, and they like it. And they have pretty much everything in a crepe, even actual food they have inside of crepe. That looks like a... Is that a salad crepe? Yeah, Caesar salad crepe. And then they have... Look at this one, it's a cheesecake and a crepe. Yeah. I'm going to order one because I'm hungry. But we'll see. I'm still trying to decide. Strawberries. Way too many. And they all look really tasty. There's a crepe shop here, there's a crepe shop there. That is not a crepe shop, but there's many on the street. Okay. Here we are, we're still in Takashita Door. Lydia's at this Lolita costume place. Uh, not really allowed to film in there, so I'm waiting out on the deck. The costume shop slash Lolita shop, there's the type of dress that they have. There's another one there. Here comes Lolita now. They're everywhere. This place is absolutely swamped. I know I've said it before, but look at this. Look at this. Holy cow. And this is only the first part of the street. We're not even halfway down the street yet. It keeps going. Unbelievable. Anyways, that is all. Hi everybody, this, we just came across this very interesting way to advertise clothing. I think it's genius. Go ahead. Everything's on a conveyor belt. That's pretty cool actually. So everything passes by the window. Awesome Apollo. Also, there's used American clothing, but I think we're okay considering we have that. Uh, I think I'll Canadian. survive without it. Very good. I thought that would be. That is pretty cool. All right, moving on. So. I'm recording now. Okay, a train's coming. Okay, the cicada. <laughs> We're going towards Shinjuku. Dollar thirty. Here it comes. Yeah, oh, after an uh, exhausting day in Harajuku. Don't worry. Alright, we'll pause for now. Hey, <laughs> everybody. 
What are you uh, laughing about? I'm chewing. Anyways, hello. My name is Lydia, and that's Kenny. Woo. And we are in Japan. Again. Still. Again. <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyways, very happy because um, I got food. This is tuna. Orini, I think they're called. The rice ball with the seaweed around it. Um, I keep getting tuna because every time I get something different, I usually don't like it. Mm. So then we got, um, we got the tasty selection of, I guess, salami? That is pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. We got another rice ball that, uh, gross, we threw it out. Yeah. Anyways, then we got this, which is like a rice, um, red bean inside of a bun. And then we got puka, good little pretzel fish with chocolate inside. Mm. And Kenny, what did you get to eat? I can't remember. What did I have? I had dried mango, and I had a rice ball with chicken in it. And apple tea. And apple. And I got lemon tea. And it was delicious. Woo! Lemon tea. Anyways, today we went to... Wait, don't tell me. Never mind, tell me. I thought it said on the bag, but it doesn't. Harajuku. Harajuku. And it's the Lolita district. Yay! I was very happy. So we went, uh, we spent pretty much the whole day there. We went by the Olympic swimming pool. And then we stumbled in on a Sri Lankan festival. <laughs> and then we went to, uh, the streets called. Well, we saw the music guys. I don't know what they were called. But oh, yeah, that's yeah. I don't know what that street's called, but there's lots of musicians on it. Yeah, lots of musicians on it. And then we went to Takashita Dori. Yes. Which is the street. Go ahead. Uh, that has a lot of stuff on it. Also, mm -hmm. we went to Wolfgang Puck restaurant, which was, okay. I know it's very American, but there's nothing else really there. I had good. pizza. And I had a barbecue chicken burger with fries. They put parsley on everything. It's, mm -hmm. it's very nice. It's a very nice thing. And I noticed uh, on my way to the bathroom that they have fresh parsley that they dry out. The yeah. toilet paper is pink. Yeah, and the toilet paper was pink. And it was two ply, which is very strange. Oh, I noticed that ply. too. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's so weird. Soft. I'll never take toilet paper for granted again. Anyways, so um. What else? What else? What did you buy? What uh? Um, I bought a few headdresses. As you can see, this is one of them. It's like very matey. Then I got like a big white bow one, and then I got um the flat black and white one, and then I got two pairs of socks. Um, one, they're white with lace, and the other was black, with black and white crisscrossing up the top, and then it has white lace and then a little black bowl. I got the last pair of the white socks. Very impressive. So, we went to a lot of, uh, Gothic Lolita stores, but it's a very expensive habit. Um, some purses range from, like, 60 to 120, and, like, the clothing I didn't even care for because, well, obviously, ho oh, oh, right? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> it's very expensive there, too. So I just got a bunch of headdresses and some socks. And then we went to we went to a lot of Lolita places. I only ended up buying body line. It was very nice. We went to an Angelic Pretty also, but their stuff was heavily overpriced. We went to about fifteen Lolita stores. Yeah. And a lot of them were out of business too, which was really strange. So I didn't think that internet thing was that old, but apparently. Who knows, right? Mm hmm Things come and go really quickly here. So, uh then we we wanted to go to the temple, but uh, unfortunately we ran out of time. Sun and had set. Yeah, the sun sets very early here. And 6 p.m. I'm sorry, Kenny. We also went to the King of Dollar 